Alright, I'm gonna do a little walk around. I'm going the opposite direction. I usually go the other way. It'd be normal traffic flow the other direction. But let's start at Raven Junction. This is my uh, cinder pile and and this is the ballast pile. It's pretty much the same thing. Use it in the track. This is really East Main. That's my wife's side of the family. Gondola sitting on the track. This is all track I just put it back in after we, we, we regraded, but it hasn't been ballasted yet. I mean, you can roll the cars on it, it's level enough and stuff, but still needs some ballast in there. At least dirt. And you have my tank car. I'm, uh, putting it back together I took the boiler off actually my my boiler guy uh, his son works at my work so I had a bunch of stuff I wanted to get done on the boiler that uh, needed so I uh, took the boiler off got it back in two weeks and now I'm putting it all back together it's got all new valves put on it it's uh it's gonna be very happy when it gets running again here I'm gonna be up here 4th of July for about five days and I'm gonna Get her all steamed up then and running. Anyways, end the track at the moment. Got this bridge. I tore it out because I had some issues with it. So I, I'm redoing it with the I beams on the outside instead of underneath the deck. And I still got to tie these all back together and weld the whole frame underneath the bridge before I can run over that. But there's a rabbit right up here up at Summit. The old jack rabbit. Right here at Summit, there's going to be a switch again, uh, going over this way. And I'll wrap back, and over in this area is going to be eventually my turntable and roundhouse. It's uh, Seymour Johnson's old turntable sitting there on its back. And uh, this will be the location of my turntable roundhouse. That's Jack's shop right over there, that little great building. Anyway, we're back here at Summit. Kind of look around the railroad a little bit house the track pretty much loops around the house it's on two and a half acres it's like 2.6 acres anyway I'll keep going here at summit a little crossing here to get Jack's tractor in and out of here and uh, now we're starting downhill all the grades are 2% on the whole railroad and I use the uh, locomotive I bring the engine down there and uh, if the water drops too much in the glass or goes up too much in the glass, it's too steep. So, and the engine will make a perfect 2%. I've had surveyors out here survey this thing and they couldn't believe I had it at exact 2%. And I told them I used the engine and I used the water level on the engine. And uh, they couldn't believe it. I said, well, that's not rocket science. Anyway, kind of out there, it's hard to see, but try to zoom in a little bit. Here's my fill out there. Below the telephone pole is my fill and my bridges out there. Anyway, I'll go back here. So I just went around with the weed whacker and June 1st, you gotta have everything cleared out. The fire department starts coming around looking. <clears throat> so I got it all knocked down. This is Cash Creek. It used to fill up over here on the one side with water when it rained. So the bridge actually works for drainage. And uh, this curve needs to get reworked. Uh, I rebuilt this curve. Originally, my curve was in, it was done. And we brought Jack's number nine up here, and it, it didn't like going around the curve, so I pulled the curve out and tried to rebuild it. And I put this thing down probably about four or five times, and it's still number eight does not like it. And so I've even changed rail and stuff. Anyway, I got to go through it again. All in all, I got about 300 feet to go between the bridge work, between that curve back there, and between fill, finishing my fill down here at the other end. I got about 300 feet of track to finish the loop. 
There's my critter with no cab sitting on the uh, reverse track. If you go up that track, that'll reverse your direction while you're going around the loop. So you really don't need a turntable. Just run a car or engine or whatever you want to do, run it through that track and just reverse your direction. There's Lone Pine. Lone Pine's 16 years old this year. It's the second year it's had pine cones. Do it real healthy. I got a little water that drips on it all the time and all the animals come in here and drink water and it's a little refuge for all the local animals. They all co cohabitate. A little spur down here at Quail Valley. I'm gonna start building a little Victorian style depot right here. And what I'm gonna do is dig a hole here with the tractor and there'll be like a little cellar below the station. And you just you go around the back side of the station, go in the people door, and walk down in two steps, and you, there'll be a little table in there, and you can sit inside the depot and look out the window and watch trains go by. And, uh, so it's designed like this, because the land drops off down on this side, so I'll just, I'm already lower, so I'll dig a hole down a little bit, and make a depot right there. Now we're coming out here, this is the, far end of my loop and it's been years trying to get this filled in and Jack came out here with a tractor tractor a couple weeks ago and we built it up and so this bridge got to be tied together and put in and everything and got this fill here still got to be widened and then I got to build a bridge here I got 40 feet of gap between these ties here and, the, and that bridge there just got to connect, you know, extend that bridge. I've got 40 feet to finish it out here at this end, or at least to connect it. And then uh, up here is Leona, Spanish for female lion. This is where the mountain lion hangs out. I always see mountain lion tracks over this way. But this is uh, just rail, a tie here and there. I got ties end right about here. So, coming around the curve, we're almost back to Raven Junction. Uh, we'll look back here at the at Leona. And you can see it's not, not too much to complete now after all these years. But I only do this part time. Try to come up here as much as I can. Anyway, uh, so we're back at Raven Junction, where we started. And the loop's about 1,100 feet around. And then, uh, then we'll go down the reverse track here. And if you go into here, this switch leads to a little spur to the front yard. And I'm going to have a little engine house down there, a little car barn. And uh, coming through here at Hagland, there's a little low bridge. Hagland's my mom's maiden name. My grand and that was my grandfather who got me into trains. A little bridge here. Just trim this tree up. They're like uh, they're juniper trees, but if you trim the bottoms out of them, they look like a giant bonsai tree. Anyway, a little bench here. Maybe it'll be building a depot here too at some point. Caboose body sitting there as a temporary depot. And then right here you can see the gondola is up a few feet. The critter's down at this level. And Lone Pine's even lower than that. And the rails actually go 16 feet below the driveway. And then uh, this is my water tower base. I still gotta build a tank on there and put all kind of cross members on there. It's not gonna hold any water. Spigot's right there under the house gonna be a plastic pipe running out here and the pipe will go right through the damn tank and you'll have a little ball valve here out here on the end and you'll get water when you need it 